Is my camera crooked? Girl, I know that you can make it get some faith. Oh, girl, you know that I can make it see you shake. Oh, girl, they try to bring you down, but you have to. Shawty, you have to. Shawty, you have to. Shawty, you have to believe in yourself. Shawty, you have to. Shawty, you have to. Shawty, you have to believe. Hey y'all, what's poppin'? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be discussing my 25 ways to be more productive. Tip number one to be more productive, eat breakfast. It sounds like a hypocrite coming from me because I don't really. So I um, don't like to eat in the morning. I don't like to eat when I first wake up. It takes me a little minute. But I find that when I do eat, I'm way more productive. I feel like I can just take on the world just because I've eating something when I wake up. I don't know, I like have to force myself to do it, but like when I do do it, I do do it. I'm not saying everybody has to do this, but me, um, I started reading the Bible, so I like to read my daily Bible scriptures, and I don't know, that really makes me feel motivated and ready to take on the day, so I'll have that in my head all day, whatever Bible scripture I read for that day. I have an app on my phone, you know, like go to the daily bible scriptures they want to read and i'll read it and i'll just think about it all day long while i'm working and stuff and i don't know this kind of helps me i'm just like wow um me i have to read the scripture three four times before i like fully understand wake up earlier when you wake up early you have more time throughout the day to, to get some stuff done so do that don't, don't just sleep your whole day away and then get mad when you can't get nothing done because I know when I wake up kind of late I'm just like ah man it's our it's already one it's already two I might as well just chill then because the day already gone that's not the way to think about stuff you know what I'm saying like if you do wake up late get some stuff done like you still got a couple hours left for daytime you can still get some stuff done um contradicting what I just said sleep in like if I'm sleep deprived I can't get nothing done because I'm so tired and I'm so lazy that I can't get nothing done. So if you're tired or if you stayed up too late or if you're sleep deprived, you know, sleep in, get some sleep and then wake up and do what you gotta do. Talk it out. Find somebody with like similar goals and stuff in life as you and motivate each other. Don't keep everything to yourself because it just stresses yourself out even more. I find when I talk to somebody um, my dear Alexa, she's always pushing me towards my goal, always making sure I'm good, making sure I'm doing what I want to do, you know what I'm saying? She never makes me feel like, she never lets me be lazy, if that makes sense. She, she's always making me feel motivated and making me feel like I need to get some shit done, especially after seeing her work so hard on her channel. It really pushed me to really want to keep forward, keep doing it, keep doing my thing, so yeah so find somebody talk it out don't keep everything to yourself because it really does just stress you out and you feel like well i know if, at least for me i feel like um everybody's against me a lot or i feel like i can never get anything done but talking out can really make you feel like you're not alone my boyfriend also helps me with that so because we're both trying to we're both at the same point in our lives we're trying to get our house get stuff going so definitely talk it out with somebody a friend or whoever six breathe if you're feeling overwhelmed or whatever just take a minute um just breathe just breathe that's what i do i'm overwhelmed at work or whatnot i go outside i take a couple breaths you know what i'm saying like if they really start to piss me off i'm not even gonna hold y'all up like i'm really i just need a breath you know what i'm saying just so make sure you take time out for you you know just that one's so simple like really that's it's really a, a big one for me i really just need to stop and take a breath prepare for huge and big tasks you don't want to just you don't want to just go in blind you know what i'm saying you have that, something big to do take a minute take a breath prepare for it do whatever you have to do to take all the steps and cautions you have to do to make sure you're doing that big task task um correctly and just don't just don't try to like go just make sure you're prepared for everything you know what i'm saying you don't just want to go out and do stuff it'll make you overwhelmed on top of that make a list you know what i'm saying like 
don't stress yourself out by saying, like, you know, you'd be like, oh, I remember it. No, just write it down. Don't put all that pressure on yourself to remember something because odds are you aren't going to remember it and you're going to real, you be real mad at yourself later and then you're stressed because you couldn't remember what the heck you're supposed to remember. And in reality, all you had to do was write the crap down the first time and you would have remembered it and day would have been way more smooth. We put way too much stress on ourselves and we can't be productive that way. Here's a big one for me. Stay positive. I've been told this so many times. The more negative feelings and thoughts you put on yourself, the more negative things are gonna happen because you're wishing that you're putting that bad energy on yourself and you don't want that, you don't need that. Stay positive and positive things will happen. It sounds corny, I know, I hate when people tell me that, but it's true and it works. Stay positive. Reward yourself. There's nothing wrong with just rewarding yourself, whether that be getting your nails done or your hair done or just drinking a glass of wine at the end of your day. Just make sure you're rewarding yourself and feeling good about your day. There's nothing wrong with, you know, meeting effort with reward. You can do all of that. You know what I'm saying? Like you worked hard. You deserve to feel good. Take care of yourself. Maximize your free time. It may feel like the more stuff you have to do on your list, the more you get, the more you can get done. But honestly, that just overwhelms me even more when I have way too much stuff to do. Like if I have, if I have way too much stuff on my list, I'm just like I don't want to deal with it. It's just too much. I can't do it. It's just too much, and I just get all stressed out in my brain, and I end up not doing any of it. When in reality, all I really had to do was just do a couple of the things and then finish the rest of it tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to do everything all at once. Give yourself some time. Going on top of what I just said, don't try to do it all at one time. As well. It kind of goes with maximizing your free time. Just don't try to do it all at one time. Try to um, like set small goals for yourself and then accomplish them that way. Learn how to say no. It's alright to say no to people. Um, that used to be a big problem for me. The more time you say yes to somebody, the more likely they're going to keep coming back and asking you to do stuff. But if you're steady helping others, you don't have time to accomplish your own goals and your own stuff. So make sure you set time for yourself and say no to others. Say no to other people and they, they don't understand and they're not your friends and they're childish. Don't just roll out of bed in the morning. Set like a morning routine. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, but just something that works for you. Um, you don't want to just get up last minute and roll and be on your way to school or work. Odds are you'll be, you'll be way more productive in your um, everyday life if you just have a routine that works for you. Like, it'll be more comfortable in the morning for you to just be like, mm, I'm going to get up, I'm about to shower, I'm about to eat breakfast, I'm about to go. Rather than just, oh, I still got two minutes before I have to walk out the door. Because that just stresses you out more and then you have to rush to work and you're half tired and... Like, it's just not productive. It's just not going to work for you in the long run. Don't ignore your body. Your body is your most important asset. You know what I'm saying? So, take care of it. A healthy body and a healthy mind can do way more. Leave time for some downtime and relax. Everyone needs time to unwind. If you never truly, like, relax, you never have time to, like, start the day with a fresh mind and ready to start again and be productive for the next day because you never really relaxed from the day before, so you're just constantly tired, you know what I'm saying? So like, get some downtime in, relax. Don't do it all in one day. Ask for help. Don't try to do everything on yourself. Nobody has the answer to everything. You don't have to take on all that by yourself. When you need help and you really feel like you can't do it, ask someone and it'll make it 10 times easier. I have a problem with this, so I'm gonna take this into consideration as well. I'm the type of person that I was saying no and then suffer in silence. It's not a, it's not good. It's not a way to be productive at all because then you just stressing the you just stressing yourself out even more. And you can't be productive if you're stressed. Don't wait for the perfect moment. If you're just gonna sit there and you're gonna wait for the perfect moment, nothing is gonna get done. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? You know how they say you're never gonna be ready to have a baby. You're never gonna have the perfect moment to do anything. You're never gonna be ready for anything. You're just gonna have to you have to take life into your own hands and just do it. And that, that's, the, honestly, that's one of the things I definitely need to <laughs> practice when I'm preaching there because I myself was waiting and waiting to, like, move out and because I just felt like I wasn't ready. I'm about to be 25, you guys. It's time to, 
a perfect life and we go. You know what I mean? There is no perfect time at all. Restrict yourself to social media. It could be very tempting with all these different platforms and stuff that we're all on. You know what I'm saying? Because I could spend so many hours on social media alone. You have when we put like Facebook and then Snapchat and then Instagram all into consideration and then like YouTube now and you know it's just it's, it just becomes a lot and you just really need to restrict yourself not to just spend all your day on social media because it could become tempting set deadlines for what you're trying to accomplish if you set a deadline then you have no choice but to get it done before that deadline therefore making it impossible for you not to finish your your goal therefore you will be more productive in finishing what you wanted to finish in the first place because there's a deadline and you want to meet it remove all distractions rather it be people or rather it be social media just remove it all anything bad negative or anything that's stopping you from doing what you need to do get rid of it don't multitask it may feel like you get more done because you're trying to do two things at once but really doing things doing two things or three things or four things all at once just slows the process down finish this little thing finish that little thing finish this thing finish it all you don't have to do it all at one time you, your brain cannot focus on more than one thing at one time plan the night before if you plan the night before then you're gonna wake up and you're gonna know exactly what to do you know what i mean like set your clothes aside before you go to sleep when you wake up you ain't got that lingering about your brain like oh my god i'm gonna go to work you know what i'm saying or well, i'm gonna wear to school you're gonna know what you got because you planned the night before already have your plan set in motion before you wake up that way you know exactly what you have to do when you wake up and lastly love what you do it's way easier to get stuff done if you love what you're doing you know what i'm saying like this youtube stuff i have so many videos to record and i don't even mind doing it because i love doing youtube you know what i'm saying so i want to take that same energy into my work life and i'm not happy while i'm working so i'm trying to get a different job and so I can love what I do so I can get more stuff done so I can be more productive and that's just it's just a really good thing I feel like that's one of the things I can take the most out of this out of this video love what you do if you don't take anything else from this video take this like seriously you love what you do and you'll get it done i promise you like out of all the tips that's probably the best one so thank you guys for watching this video i really hope you guys took any of this let me know if you learned anything from the video and what your favorite tip was thank y'all for getting on the pop with me but now it's time to go